Hello, YouTube. We're back for another video, and today we're going to see what's in the basket. <laughs> hmm. Oh my gosh, it's a bag. Today we're doing this random unboxing, unbagging, uh, unbagging video because I went to my local peddler's mall because I shop locally and what I got here in the bag is what I bought. <laughs> so let's see what we got. <laughs> um Yesterday, at the Peddler's Mall, oh boy, I don't know if I have shown off any of their stuff, but, um, well, since I'm not sponsored, I'm allowed to be honest and say that most of their stuff, it is fucking junk. Okay, now, if you think that's a bit harsh, maybe it is. But, it, it's kind of like a flea market, except, like, there, there's no people there that are, like, selling the stuff. Like, the people, they just, like, put the stuff there, you know, which, personally, as a, uh, business, a small businessman myself I would not do that because I'm not very trusting of other people with my merchandise but you know what all power to you I guess so first off we have here from let's see which booth was this from I think it's from 8.52, which, you know, if I'm wrong, then I'm wrong. Sorry, whoever owns booth 8.52. Now, this one, they do have anime merchandise, such as keychains, which they have a lot of keychains. Um... License plate holders, and, um, oh, and air fresheners, because I did get an L, L air freshener, and it smelled like strawberries, and then it made me gag, but what we're holding here is a keychain, you know, you turn it this way, you got L, you turn it that way, you got light, Cool, huh? Let's actually open this up. I mean, I got it because it's four dollars and it's Death Note. And at this point, I need more Death Note stuff. Like, I need a hole in my head. So. Yep, it is in fact a keychain. Now, would I recommend that you check out that booth? Um, I mean, yeah, but then again, I can't recommend any of this in full confidence because I don't know the people who are selling this stuff. Um... Obviously, I'm not sponsored, and I will never be sponsored, and yeah, also, I'm not going to recommend you or say whether you should or shouldn't go to the Peddler's Mall, because I don't know much about what goes on internally, so... I'm not going to recommend you to or not recommend you to, but, 
you know, I'm just telling you what I found and at which booths I found it. Which, also, I'm not going to say which peddler's mall I went to because, um, I don't want to dox myself. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, next, we have button. Now, this one here is from booth 266. And this one I have bought quite a few figures from. They they have figures, which are, they're not in the box. So that's why I buy them. And they do, to what I've seen, they do have legit figures. So... Which, at the Peddler's Mall, by the way, there is bootleg figures. If you're someone who's against that, which you know that I'm not. <laughs> but, just putting that out there, if you're one of those, oh, ew, bootlegs, uh, people. But I will mention that some of the bootlegs are unfairly priced, so you might want to watch out for that. But, I have no clue what anime this is from. They do have a bunch of buttons and keychains, which I've bought in quite a few of them, but I... I don't know any of these animes. I just buy them because I like buttons. Keychains. So let's open this up. And see what I wasted two, a, a whole dollar and fifty cents on. Now, as for this uh, booth's pricing, I have bought quite a few things from them, and I'd say their stuff is pretty fairly priced. Sometimes it is a bit under, but. Of course, I, as a cheapskate, love that. So, is that reflecting? Come on, camera. You can do it. Can, can you not do it? Oh, well. <sighs> okay. Good grief, trying not to get my skin in view is <laughs> hard. Okay, then we have this button, which, yeah, if y'all know, if y'all know the sauce for these, please tell me, because I, man, I want to know. Which also, before we get on to the plushy there. I do want to say that if you guys are more interested in my takes, uh, my, my very hot takes, about places for buying merch, and specifically figures, like what I was uh, babbling about earlier, then... Give me a comment down below, because I've been planning on a few of those, especially for Walmart, because I have quite a few opinions about the Walmart figures, but yeah, let me know if you're interested. Now let's get on to what I'm most excited about, is this uh, power plushie. Let's see, uh, yeah, you see, whenever, hold on, let me see what booth this is from, okay, this is from booth 67, which, uh, I think they just recently started showing up, but, uh, they don't have much anime merch, so I think this is probably a one-time thing. Because I didn't see anything else that was really anime related, but... Yeah, you see this here, this was actually 
in one of the cases, which if you don't know, um, at the Peddler's Mall, whenever you want something that's in one of the glass cases, you have to go ask at the desk to have someone open it. Well, I had a, um, one of the workers there open it, and, um, I've actually seen her there quite a few times, but, yeah, like, she got it out, and I was, like, staring at it, and she's like, you know, well, if you want me to put it back, hey, that's okay, but you see, I, I mean, I did want it, but there's two things that threw me off, Okay, first off, as you can tell, there is multiple price stickers on here, which, here, let's count, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that, that is like six too many price stickers. You know, two would have been fine, but really, seven price stickers, like, that That really threw me off, because I was like, like, bro, I was like, okay, this is $15, but like, what if it's 30 or 45 or 60 like, like, bro, like, really, and then I was staring at this, which, well, we'll get on to that, bro, don't worry, but, yeah, like, I was staring at it, and I was like, what the fuck is that, <laughs> but then I had to, like, read this thing, and I was like, oh, yeah, let's see, uh, Butterberry Power Plush 9 to for fans, Christmas, two-piece, new. Uh, yeah, that might be the most intelligible words I've heard all day, but let's open this up. Let's see what's cooking. Alright, so, just that over and you've got the lady of the hour power now let's see a tag here camera please focus but okay the tag says butterberry so I guess that's the company I I don't know uh, let's just get this tag off of her. There, now her ears are no longer pierced. Oh, damn! That left a serious hole. Jeez. Damn, I guess her ears really were pierced. Well, nothing I can do about that. I might give her an earring, though. But... Let's see the coat here. Oh, why does her hair look like that? Okay, well, I know Chainsaw Man. It, I don't know if it's popular right now, but I think it was popular, like, last season or, I don't know, whatever anime season. I don't keep up with the anime seasons because I'm a manga reader, but I watched the anime for Chainsaw Man because they... Um, f friend recommended it to me, and um, yes, I'm a I love power, but also I do love Makima, but I do ship them together, so I, I don't know. I'm starting to regret my purchase here. Oh, she's got a tag and. Her, um, behind. Let's just get that tag out of her 
hardcore behind. There we go. Alright, so first off, as you can tell, she, um... She has a lack of shoes. Um, but... I guess all of the foot fetish people are very pleased tonight. <laughs> okay, now... This jacket here. <sighs> oh my gosh, it... Man, are my memory problems just getting worse day by day? Or is her jacket supposed to be blue? Like, like when the hell has she ever worn a red jacket? And also, her horns, um... They're a little orangey. Which kind of has me confused. Because they, they made her jacket red, but they made her horns orange. Unless I'm stupid and they're supposed to be orange, but I I think her horns are supposed to be red. I don't know. Okay, now this tie will not stay with it properly, but here, let's see. Can she get out of her little um incorrectly colored jacket? Let's see. Um and jacket. Okay. Now I just gotta get that door melted here. Good grief. This is like trying to take a jacket off of a, a baby. And I guess she's a baby. But, huh? Okay. So, she doesn't have sleeves, which... Hold on. Before anyone criticizes that... That, that is kind of a common thing for plushies. Especially the... I don't want to say cheap ones, but ones where they have removable jackets. They do tend to have sleeveless shirts, so I'm not very mad about that. That's whatever, but... Yeah, I don't know. I just... I'm not very impressed with the pants either because I have a feeling that these, I don't know, these might be the right color, but there's just so much about this that's, like, not correct that it's kind of throwing me off, like, bootleg power, except they just didn't get anything right about the colors and shit, like, I don't know, like... The hair is also really throwing me off because her hair is supposed to be longer. Like, they could have at least made it to, like, I don't know, like, here? You know, like, but they just, like, made it, like, what would this be, like, shoulder length? Which, actually, I recently got a haircut, so... I don't know, I guess Power also got a haircut. Now let's try to finagle her back into her little incorrectly colored jacket so that we can get on to unpacking whatever the thing is that I was awkwardly staring at in the store because I could not for the life of me figure out what it was. Which... Man, I mean, I, I think I have an idea of what it is, but, like, I don't know. Okay, let's... There we go. Now she's ready for nap time, so, like, shh, man, the baby's sleeping. Okay, so now, let's see... Well, this is. We got a picture here that is refusing to focus. I don't know what's up with the phone, but it, it just won't focus today. But. So, uh, okay, now let's get this out of here. Um, why is the packaging like this? I don't know. Jeez, this is 
This is plastic waste, bro. What the hell? Okay, yeah, this is what it's supposed to be. Um. Hmm. I don't know what this is. Is this a bopping stick? Well, I do not think so because it is a <laughs> wall scroll, which. I don't know, how can I show this whole thing, like, in camera, like, ooh. I mean, you know, for, for being just an extra that, like, you know, I was getting with the plushie, like, it's okay, but, like, if it was, like, something that I was buying specifically on, like, Amazon or some shit, like, this would not fly. But you know what? I'll hang it up. Because, admittedly, my room decor is kind of lacking. That's why I don't show my room in these videos, because my, my room decor is straight lacking. But, like... Yeah, I mean, it's not, that's not too bad. It's, this is a bit wonky, but, uh, you know what, uh, it's basically a freebie, so, yeah, and, uh, with that, <laughs> out of the way, um, I hope you enjoyed this video, if you liked this video give it a like and a subscriber and um yeah let me know down in the comments if you want like my opinions on specific places to buy merch at <laughs> and also let me know what kind of content y'all want because i may probably get back into gaming videos but so far, I don't know what the hell to play because everything fucking sucks. Especially Genshin Impact. I can't stand that shit. And, um... Yeah. Uh, I'll see you all in the next video. Bye-bye!